Ricky's Tacos is the seventh episode of the American television police procedural supernatural drama Awake. It originally aired on the National Broadcasting Company on April 12, 2012. The teleplay of the episode was written by executive producer Howard Gordon and Evan Katz. From a story by series creator Kyle Killen, the episode was directed by Adam Davidson. Ricky's Tacos earned a Nielsen rating of 0.9, being watched by 2.68 million viewers in its initial broadcast. The episode has generally received positive reviews, with critics commenting on its storylines. The show centers on Michael Britton, a detective living in two separate realities after a car accident. In one reality, in which he wears a red wristband, his wife Hannah Britton survived the accident, and in another reality, in which he wears a green wristband, his son Rex Britton survived. In this episode, Britton goes to Ricky's Tacos, where the voice at the drive-thru says that he cannot go to Portland, and it all starts with the Westfield case. However, he fails to find anything unusual about the case. Later, Britton and Bird deal with a case with a girl who had died off a hotel ledge. Soon after, they find out that the father John Ferris had been sexually assaulting her and her younger daughter. This had caused the daughter to get pregnant, and she had looked for a good guy to raise her before she committed suicide due to this. Meanwhile in the red reality, Britton and Ephraim Vega deal with a case with a dead man Pablo. Later, they find out that his brother Jose Cabrera had killed him and took his identity. Captain Trisha Harper and Captain Carl Kessel discuss Britain's accident. Ricky's Tacos continued key thematic elements to the series that were originally introduced in The Little Guy, the second episode of the series. The themes of the episode were criticized by the AV Club and Hitfix. The installment is rated TV 14 on television in the United States. Plot Michael Britton is with his wife Hannah in the Red Reality, talking to a real estate agent about selling their house and moving to Oregon. Later, Britton stops at Ricky's Tacos to order at the drive through speaker. He hears the attendant say Britton cannot move until he solves the Westfield case. However, when Michael replies, the attendant has no idea what Britton is talking about. Britton drives to the Westfield Distribution Center and discovers that it is abandoned. He talks to the owner and explains that he was investigating a case there four months ago. The owner says that he is now leasing out the space and he does not know where the previous distribution owners went. While Britton is searching, he finds a Ricky's Tacos bag in the unit. In the green reality, he speaks to Dr. Judith Evans, who claims that his subconscious is trying to stop their move to Oregon. Britton states that there was a case shortly before the accident. At the station, Britton speaks to Bird about the case. Britton starts to go to the records room. However, the detectives are sent on a new case. Sabrina Ferris jumped to her death from a hotel room and landed on a car. They speak to Tim Wax, who witnessed the jump. He explains that they were lab partners and Sabrina invited him over to study and he did, and then they had sex, and shortly after, Sabrina jumped off the ledge. Sabrina's father John tries to attack Wax, automatically assuming that he pushed her. Back at the station, Dr. Banks warns Bird and Britton that they found signs of rape. Britton talks to Tim in the interrogation room, where Tim claimed that he did not want to hurt her. After transferring into the red reality, Britton speaks to Captain Trisha Harper about the storage unit. However, she wants him to work on cases that have not been closed. Ephraim Vega and Britton investigate at a hotel site that was being cleared for new construction. The workers found a man buried in the foundation. Banks shows them the site and the corpse, which has a fractured skull. Banks has managed to identify the victim as Pablo Cabrera. 
Britain speaks to his brother Jose, and notices a tattoo of the college logo of Tioga College in the other reality, on Jose's arm. Back in the green reality, Britain goes to the impound lot and finds the parking pass with the Tiger logo. At the station, he tells Bird that it was stamped two days ago and Sabrina drove 300 miles there and back without telling anyone. Britain decides to drive to San Diego, and at the college, Michael goes the room of the ex, Chris Chapman, to break the news. And Chapman noted that Sabrina had diary with she kept all personal information. Britain and Bird observed that she had a pregnancy to hide. In the red reality, Michael drives back to Westfield Distribution and discovers that the doors are locked to look for more evidence. Unaware that Detective Ed Hawkins is watching him, Hawkins notifies Captain Carl Kessel, and Kessel phones Harper to speak about it. Vega and Britain track down one of the foremen from three months ago, but does not recognize Pablo. In the green reality, Britain goes to the distribution center, who tells him exactly what he said in the green reality. Later, Bird calls to tell Michael that the autopsy report shows that Sabrina was four weeks pregnant when she killed herself. The partners go to see John at his home and explain that new information has come up revealing that Sabrina was pregnant. The father takes them to the bedroom to find the diaries and Michael notices something in a dresser. He asks John to get to him a glass of water and then shows Bird how the dresser was moved to barricade the door. When John comes back with water, Britton takes him to the station. John had sexually molested her daughters. When she became pregnant, she tried to use Chris and then Tim to cover the pregnancy, but finally killed herself out of shame. To find evidence, Harper meets with Ally to get her to confess. She does confess, and John is led away and Wax is released from prison. In the red reality, Britain realizes that Jose had a tattoo of a tiger put over his original tattoo of a devil. Michael and Vega go back to Jose's home and hear him run out the back. They give chase and Michael goes after him while Vega goes around and gets ahead to capture him. At the station, Britain says that Jose is really Pablo, due to the evidence, and Jose admits it. Britain tells Harper that he is moving to Oregon, and Harper calls Kessel to tell him that Britain resigned. Production The teleplay of the episode was written by executive producer Howard Gordon and Evan Katz. From a story by series creator Kyle Killen, the episode was directed by Adam Davidson. It was Gordon and Katz's second credit, and Killen's fourth writing credit in the series, it was Davidson's first credit. The installment is rated TV 14 on television in the United States. Themes Although it did not directly impact the ongoing storyline of Awake, Ricky's Tacos continued key thematic elements to the series that were originally introduced in The Little Guy, the second episode, with a fast food attendant telling Britain that he cannot go to Oregon due to the Westfield case, and Kessel and Harper discussing their involvement. Like in The Little Guy, the AV Club claimed that Ricky's Tacos introduces a deeper connection to our hero via some unexplained conspiracy. According to the AV Club, there was conspiracy talk in the episode that was previous in The Little Guy. Due to this, they stated that the show is being in two integrated with tons of cases in both realities. He thought that it is like two different series working at once. Alan Sepp in Wall of Hip Fix observed that the episode is devoting time to establishing Harper as more than just a mysterious conspirator, and claimed that the show probably fumbled things by revealing both the existence of the conspiracy and Harper's role in it so early, rather than letting us get to know her before smacking us in the gut with the discovery, broadcast and reception. Ricky's Tacos originally aired on the National Broadcasting Company on April April 12, 2012. The episode's initial broadcast was viewed by approximately 2.68 million viewers. Ricky's Tacos earned a Nielsen rating of 0.9, with a two-share, meaning that roughly 0.9% of all television-equipped households 
and 2% of households watching television were tuned into the episode. In the United Kingdom, the episode was first broadcast on Sky Atlantic on June 15, 2012, and obtained 223,000 viewers making it the third most viewed program for the channel behind Hit and Miss and Smash. Ricky's Tacos has generally received positive reviews from television critics.